You gotta brace yourselves for this wild update. The drama between Drake, Kendrick Lamar, and Rick Ross just reached new heights, and it's going down in Canada. Now you won't believe what just happened at the Ignite Music Festival in Vancouver. Rick Ross got into it with some serious trouble after playing Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us, a diss track that didn't sit well with Drake's crew. Stay tuned to get all the deets on how this all went down, with Ross himself ending up in the hospital and flown back to the US ASAP. So, here's the scoop. American rapper Rick Ross was booked to perform at the Ignite Music Festival in Vancouver, BC. Everything was going smooth until he decided to play Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us at the end of his set. Now, if y'all didn't no, there's some major beef between Drake and Kendrick, and Ross playing that track was seen as him taking Kendrick's side. Big mistake. Drake's supporters in Canada, you know those Toronto boys who don't play about their homegrown superstar, got real heated. They confronted Rick Ross and his crew backstage right after the performance. Words were exchanged, tensions rose, and then things got physical real quick. Someone slapped Rick, he threw a drink, and all hell broke loose. A full-on brawl erupted backstage. One of Rick's security guards, a big dude with dreads, got punched and stomped on the ground. Venue security eventually stepped in to break things up, but not before another one of Rick's guards got knocked out cold and had to be carried away. And it didn't stop there. Fists flew again when Rick, seen wearing a green jersey, went over to check on his boys. The scene was chaotic, y'all. Rick Ross himself didn't come out unscathed. After the melee, he had to be rushed to the hospital. The injuries must have been serious enough because he was flown out on the next available flight back to the US. Drake, who wasn't even at the festival, stirred the pot even more by liking a post about the incident. Talk about adding fuel to the fire. The message here is loud and clear for American rappers. If you're coming to perform in Drake's territory, you better hire plenty of security. Those Toronto supporters don't mess around when it comes to protecting their own. This beef just got a whole lot messier, and we're here for all the drama, and the tea just keeps getting hotter. Cause this wild saga involving Rick Ross, Drake, and Kendrick Lamar is getting crazier by the minute. Now the latest on the explosive drama that went down at the Ignite Music Festival in Vancouver, BC. Rick Ross got jumped by some unknown men after playing Kendrick Lamar's diss track, Not Like Us. Things got so heated that Ross ended up in the hospital and had to be flown back to the US immediately. And that's not all. The Canadian police are now on a manhunt to catch the suspects. Plus, Drake's staying suspiciously silent. So Rick Ross, the big boss himself, was doing his thing at the Ignite Music Festival in Vancouver. He wrapped up his set with Kendrick Lamar's track, Not Like Us, a diss that's known to stir up some serious drama. And boy, did it ever. Drake's crew, fiercely loyal to their Toronto superstar, wasn't having it. As soon as Rose got off stage, they confronted him backstage. Things escalated fast, words flew, tensions hit the roof, and then bam. Someone slapped Rick. He reacted by throwing a drink, and all hell broke loose. It turned into a full-blown brawl. One of Rick's security guards, a massive dude with dreads, got punched and stomped. Venue security finally managed to break it up, but not before another of Rick's guards got knocked out cold. The chaos was unreal. Rick Ross himself took a pretty bad hit. After the dust settled, he was rushed to the hospital. The injuries were no joke, so serious that he had to be flown back to the US on the next available flight. Talk about a rough night. And now, the Canadian police are on a full-scale manhunt to catch the suspects. They're investigating the incident and working hard to bring those responsible to justice. This isn't just some backstage scuffle, it's a serious crime, and the authorities are treating it as such. Meanwhile, Drake's been keeping mom about the whole situation. No statements, no comments, nada. Fans and the media are buzzing, wondering why Drizzy's staying so quiet. Is he trying to keep things low-key, or is there more to the story? The hip-hop world is watching closely, and there's a lot of concern. Folks are warning not to let this beef spiral out of control like the infamous feud between Tupac and Biggie. We all know how that ended, and nobody wants to see history repeat itself. But here's another twist. While Rick Ross was being tended to, word spread that Kendrick Lamar had reached out to Ross, offering his support. The rap community is tight-knit, and this move by Kendrick shows some serious solidarity. It's also sparking rumors about potential collaborations and whether this beef could actually bring about some unexpected alliances. Fans of Rick Ross are rallying behind him, sending messages of support and hoping for his swift recovery. Social media is blowing up with hashtags like hashtag get well Rick Ross and hashtag justice for Rick, showing just how much love the hip hop community has for the big boss. And 
let's not forget the festival itself. Ignite Music Festival is catching some serious heat for the lack of security. People are questioning how things could have escalated so quickly and what measures will be put in place to prevent something like this from happening again. But amidst all this chaos, there's a sliver of hope. Industry insiders are saying that this incident might push the hip-hop community to come together, address underlying issues, and promote peace and unity. It's a tall order, but if anyone can turn a negative into a positive, it's the resilient artists and fans of hip-hop. As the investigation continues and more details emerge, one thing's for sure, this story is far from over. But amidst all this chaos, there's a sliver of hope. Industry insiders are saying that this incident might push the hip-hop community to come together, address underlying issues, and promote peace and unity. It's a tall order, but if anyone can turn a negative into a positive, it's the resilient artists and fans of hip-hop. As the investigation continues and more details emerge, one thing's for sure, this story is far from over. We'll keep bringing you all the updates, the drama, and the latest twists as they happen. So keep your notifications on and stay tuned, because this saga is only getting juicier. Now let's dive into more updates. Word on the street is that Rick Ross is already planning his comeback after this brutal attack. He's been in touch with his team and is determined not to let this incident slow him down. There are rumors he's working on a new track addressing the whole ordeal, and we can't wait to hear what he has to say. Meanwhile, Drake's silence is getting louder. Fans are speculating about his next move. Some think he's staying quiet to avoid escalating the situation, while others believe he's plotting something big behind the scenes. Whatever the case, Drake's next move is bound to be major, and the anticipation is killing us. Kendrick Lamar, on the other hand, has been more vocal. He's been posting cryptic messages on social media, which fans believe are subtle jabs at the situation. Kendrick's always been known for his lyrical prowess, and we can only imagine he's crafting something epic in response to all this drama. Back in Vancouver, the police are not messing around. They've increased their efforts to track down the suspects involved in the attack. There have been reports of multiple arrests, but the authorities are tight-lipped about the details. The investigation is ongoing, and the police are urging anyone with information to come forward. The Ignite Music Festival has also taken a hit from this incident. Organizers are facing backlash for the security failures that allowed the brawl to escalate. They've promised to review their safety protocols and ensure that future events are better protected. This incident has sparked a broader conversation about artist safety at music festivals, with many calling for stricter security measures. And let's not forget about the fans. Social media is flooded with reactions, from shock and outrage to support and solidarity. The hashtag pray for Rose is trending, with fans sending their love and best wishes to Rick Ross. At the same time, there's a growing movement to hold music festivals accountable for the safety of their performers and attendees. In the midst of all this, some hip-hop veterans are stepping in to mediate. Legends like Snoop Dogg and Nas have been vocal about the need for peace in the community. They've been reaching out to both sides, hoping to de-escalate the situation and prevent any further violence. Their influence could be crucial in steering this narrative towards a more positive outcome. As we await more developments, one thing's clear, the hip-hop world is at a crossroads. This incident has highlighted the intense rivalries and deep-seated issues within the industry, but it's also shown the potential for unity and positive change. If the community can come together and address these challenges, it could emerge stronger and more resilient than ever. So stay tuned, fam. We're in for a wild ride, and we'll be here every step of the way, bringing you the latest updates, the hottest takes, and all the behind-the-scenes drama. This story is far from over, and we've got a feeling it's about to get even more intense. Keep those notifications on, because you won't want to miss a single beat of this unfolding saga.